All right, we're going to talk about carousels. Do you know how they work? Do you know how many is on the upper or the lower? We'll find out. Stay tuned. Hi, everyone. It's Cam, also known as Fuzzy. Welcome to the AIP Content Creator Podcast. All right, today we're going to talk about carousels. All right, let's get rid of that. Okay, now right here, you're going to see an extension I use called IPX. We're going to get into that in uh, deeper detail in a different podcast episode. But uh, what this does is brings up all the stuff you need to know without funneling all the way down the page and all the way up the page to find stuff. All right. You got your asset number. You got the price. You got a rating. You got review count. And over here, you've got all the reviews from uh, from consumers, right? on what they rated this here's for the you can get a pro version too so there's more in it i don't use it but you can get it if you want this works really good on your pc and and it uh, saves a lot of time okay all right carousels okay so this a particular unit you think doesn't have a carousel okay it doesn't now we're going to get into this in the next frame okay so here's where your upper carousel will be and then your lower carousel will be down here, right here, videos for this product. Right here, you've got, uh, you'll have products that are similar and all that kind of stuff on this row. And then down here, you'll have uh, your, uh, your videos. So let's go to the next frame and I'll show you that. Okay, now this one's got a bottom carousel, okay? And I'm on this one, obviously. This is actually a sponsored product through the Creator Connection and i did they sent me this product and i did a video for it so that's the ugc side of of this business okay we'll get into that in another podcast episode later on all right i'm just showing you carousels right now okay so you got one carousel on this product and that's on the bottom now this extension will tell you whether you got an upper carousel and a lower carousel so top or bottom all right this one here's got influencer five videos and on the bottom, we're allowed 10 as influencers on the bottom. Okay, then you got merchant videos, which is zero, and total videos is five. Okay, and I'm gonna go down here and show you that, and then you know where it's at if you don't know. Okay, now here you got your, your you know, all kinds of different videos from Lexivon, and then now you've got your videos down here from influencers, okay? This is super competitive down here and I went through this and all these videos are really good. There I am sitting right there and that's where you want to be on this first page, right? You want to be, it's just like Google. You want to be on that first page of Google and you're going to have to pay for it. This one and being on this first page, you got to make good content. And I say this in almost every episode of my podcast, make good content and you'll be on this page. Okay. Or when I did this video, there was, I think this guy was back here. This guy was back here, but they were ahead of me. Now I'm ahead of them because my content is better than theirs. As far as I'm concerned, that's how it works. Um, I don't get bumped off here because I've got good content, right? It's, it's showing the product the way it's supposed to be. Okay, so that's one carousel. All right, now we're going to go on to, I've used this coffee pot before, and we're going to use it again. All right, there's two carousels. I'm not on this one. I do have a video up, but it, I got bumped off because there's so many. Uh, so there's your ASN number, what it is, review count, reading, and then it's got a top and a bottom. Okay, so now let's go in here. I'm going to shut the volume off real quick. Oh, it's already off. Okay, so now you've got, videos for this product now this is the this is the manufacturer which is hamilton beach then you've got influencer videos and then you got consumer videos okay so these are down on the bottom influencers are in the middle now remember if you don't make good content and people move on you don't get paid also if they click on a consumer review video no influencer makes money if they buy the product after they watch one of those videos. Okay. Amazon went about well, two or three months back. Our videos were not showing up. Ter it was terrible. 
terrible. They, it, I think they were what they were trying to do is they were trying to implement consumer review videos more than influencer videos because they don't have to pay a commission, right? I think they found out that they didn't maybe have enough or people weren't giving the proper reviews that they wanted. I don't know. And then the influencer video started flowing back and all the guys that have been in this program for a while know that's what happened, right? So yeah, so it's it's another again, you got to make good content because people will want to click on this and you're going to make money, okay? All right, now we go on the bottom one and that's down here. Okay, so now you've got a row of, uh, you know, products for this and sometimes they'll have up here another row for similar products or whatever. Hamilton Beach will put their stuff here too. All right, now there's a whole bunch of videos and I think there's 11 of them here. So yeah, it's full. Yeah, I mean, to get on this now and it might bump you off, I don't even bother. I just move on because I have a look and I'm going, yeah, no, too much competition there. I'm not wasting my time. So anyway, all right. So there's your two, two carousels. Go have a look at your products that you're doing and see if they got them. All right. I want to bring this up and I want to show you what happened to me. It was a, uh, a fiver gig that I did um, uh, on the UGC side. And this company got a hold of me right here. Uh, U.S. Shovel. I shouldn't be showing you this, but I'm showing you anyway. Um, and so I did the videos. I sent him all the stuff and, and they do whatever they do with my stuff. And OK, so I'm going to put that on Amazon. I'm going to put it on whatever my socials are and all that kind of stuff. Right. So it's on my YouTube channel and everything like that. I go to this product on Amazon and it's got no carousel. There's only two boxes right here. And it looks like just like this one. You come on down here. It looks just like this one. I'm going. Okay. So what's going to happen now? Well, what the heck? I posted anyway. And thought, well, maybe someday they'll make a carousel. Well, guess what they did? They made two carousels just for me. Right? So <laughs> I'm going, okay, I just contradicted myself um, with saying that to people right because i have a course out too and i said that in the video and i'm going well i just contradicted myself because there was no carousel now there's two carousels after i made the video so <laughs> i don't know i don't know say if you did a video on say this product right here right and there's no carousels do they make a carousel for you i don't know I know they did for me on this one because there's only one video. I'm on the top and the bottom, right? I'll show you. Let's go here. There I am right there. Right? You go on the bottom. And there I am. The merchant videos are here. Merchant videos are on the top. And there you go. So I don't know how that works. I don't know if the sponsor or, or if, the, if the merchant say, yeah, make a carousel. Or Amazon just said, yep, make a carousel. I don't know. I don't know how it works. All I know is it worked for me. And I'm the only one on here. Eventually, you know, people will buy the shovel and and influencers will make videos. And eventually there'll be more and more of them someday. Okay. What's on this one over here? That's not a good page to be on. Okay. So that's what you got to do. That's what happens with, with carousels. Okay. Another thing I wanted to say about uh, shoppable photos. I got a hold of Amazon about shoppable photos. There was people on socials that were asking. So I said, well, okay, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll get a hold of Amazon and find out. The only place you can use a shoppable photo is on your page or on your storefront. Okay. So if people click on that picture, whatever it is, and they buy, you make a commission. You can take that picture, you can put it on your TikTok and your Instagram and all that kind of stuff, slap a link on it from your site stripe, right? So your affiliate side, this is your affiliate side now. And then you can make money off your photo off of, you know, your storefront or 
off Amazon. Okay. There you go. That's what happens with your photos. I don't do them because I think it's a waste of time. I've got, I don't know, maybe half a dozen or a dozen photos in my store. I don't drive people to my store, but they make zero money unless you want to go up and TikTok and all that kind of stuff. But if you're making a video on a product, why would you use a picture? I mean, you can use it for a thumbnail or something. I don't know. I don't even bother. So anyway, that's the scoop on shoppable photos. Okay. I think that's all I have for carousels. I wanted to show you guys that and it's really interesting. One thing I have to say about carousels is again, make good content because they'll bump you off. You can be on here one day, like this one over here, this Hamilton beach. You can be on this carousel one day and be off the next day. If you've got good content, I think you'll stick around. I know I got bumped off because there's so many people putting videos on. It's just bumping me back, bumping me back, and eventually you're off. Okay. But there again, I've seen my videos stay up for a long, long time. And they're good videos. I know I've got videos out there that are, yeah, well, I look at them and going, yeah, I, yeah, okay. I can see why they're not getting any views. They don't even use them. They don't even, if they did, they, they, put them there and they bump them off real quick, whatever, you know. So there again, make good content. All right, you guys, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and the notification button because you don't want to miss that next video. All right, see you out there.